Hi, this is Scott Shepard, Photo Media Instructor at Lake Area Technical Institute, Watertown, South Dakota. And this is a brief tutorial that will show you how you can subscribe to a photo feed uh, using iPhoto. Now, in my case, what I do uh, quite a bit is that using iPhoto, I publish uh, web galleries uh, to the web using my mobile me account. Now, this tutorial isn't about trying to sell you on iPhoto or on mobile me. In fact, Apple's discontinued mobile me, so I'm going to have to look for an alternative way to do this. Now, uh, there are a lot of people that look at iPhoto as an amateur's tool, that it's made just for a regular person and not for professional photographers. But I use mobile me and iPhoto quite a bit in my workflow, and I'm going to show you how you can subscribe to albums that I, sub that I publish because that sometimes is part of my workflow. I want other people in other places to be able to access the photos. So let's assume that there is a published gallery that a friend, or in my case, a teacher, has shared with you, and that you've um, used the proper password and um, username to get into this gallery. This gallery, by the way, is password protected. It's not public for everyone, because these are not my photos and they are copyrighted, and uh, for educational use, I can do what I'm about to show you. And um, assuming that you're uh, using Safari, as I am, and that you can see the web gallery, which is called 500 Pix Portraits, and by the way, this is a website called, these are from a website and uh, an app on my iPad called 500 Pix. Very cool, I just discovered it yesterday. But I click subscribe, and I get a drop-down menu here. Now I could, because this is about subscribing an iPhoto, click this check this box and click OK. And right away it would subscribe in iPhoto. And that's the easy way to do it. But I want to show you how you do this so that you can get the RSS feed. Because uh, after I'm done showing you how to subscribe to a mobile me gallery, I'm going to show you how to subscribe to another photo feed in another uh, place, in particular Flickr. So I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to copy it. Now, when I'm done, I don't want to click OK, because that will subscribe to this RSS feed right in Safari, and I don't want to subscribe that way. I want to use iPhoto, so I'm going to click Cancel. I'm going to go to iPhoto, and up in the File menu, Subscribe to Photo Feed, and I'm going to paste that in. That's the web, that's the published web gallery right there. And it has RSS at the end, which stands for really simple syndication, I think. And I'll click subscribe, and right away, the photos that are on that gallery will show up on your computer in iPhoto. Very cool. Now, if I add photos to my gallery, they will actually show up in yours. This is a subscription, so it's kind of like a newspaper coming to you. And there may be new ones that come um, every day. Now, depending on the speed of your connection, the thumbnails will, uh, the time that it takes for the thumbnails to show up will vary. In this case, I have a pretty high speed connection right now, and so there they are. Now, the thing you need to understand is that these photos don't actually exist on your computer, they exist on the publisher's computer. And so in order to get them into your iPhoto library, uh, by the way, what that means is that if I take this gallery away on my iPhoto, if I take one of these pictures away, it will disappear from your gallery as well. So I control, as the publisher, what is out there. But you can possess these on your computer by highlighting them, going to File, and um, New Album. And we'll just call these uh, portraits. Now, this new album will not is not dynamic, which is to say that if I publish something to my gallery, they don't show up here. They'll show up in your subscriptions, and you'd have to literally drag and copy them there. I spelled portraits wrong, I see. Now, incidentally, if I don't want to subscribe to this anymore, all I have to do is go delete album. It's going to say that uh, some of these are in use, import the photos to your library before deleting. I've actually created a, uh, an album with these photos. And so if I click delete, they're gone, but there they are on my computer now. So I don't have to worry about what the publisher uh, does with his or her original album. They're on my computer. All right, so that's how you use 
a, mo a published mobile me gallery. But let me show you something else that's kind of cool about this. Uh, let's say that you follow a photographer, and I follow several, several on Flickr uh, that you like. Now, in particular, uh, I'm going to go to find this photographer in my contact list. Um, and his name is Todd Classy. He lives in Montana. I don't know him personally, by the way. Now, instantly, he's got 2,200 photos in his um, photo stream on Flickr. I don't want to subscribe to the whole photo stream or anything that he publishes to his photo stream. I want to uh, subscribe to his set called Admired. These are pictures that other people have looked at. And frankly, I like his style. Part of the reason I like his style is that uh, he does rural photography, and I can relate to that. So there are the thumbnails of this particular library, which have 100 pictures in it. I'm going to go down and look for that orange RSS feed symbol that we saw on the Mobile Me Gallery. And instead of clicking feed, because that will, that will subscribe me in um, uh, Safari, I actually want to do a right click and copy the link. And now that I've got that link, I'm going to go back to iPhoto. I'm going to go back to the file menu subscribe to photo feed and I'm going to paste it in this one is a little bit different from what you saw uh, earlier and I'll click subscribe and right away his uh, admired photos these are pictures that other people on Flickr have uh, liked uh, start to show up here and ultimately if this works right there would be a hundred pictures here um, though all I see right now are 20, and that's all right with me. So I just wanted to show you that you can go out and find um, the photo feed RSS URL and subscribe to that too. Now, if he changes this or if he publishes this, these photos will change. I have to do the same thing, and that is that if I do uh, highlight and I go new album, and we're going to call these Todd Classy Photos, I can unsubscribe from this feed and I still have those photos on my computer. So anyway, that's how you uh, take a published web gallery, whether it's a mobile me gallery or a Flickr gallery or some other gallery that has an RSS feed. All you have to do, by the way, is to look for uh, photos that uh, a page of photos that has that RSS symbol and it should work in iPhoto. Very cool tool. Hope this helps. Thanks for listening.